Hi, this is Carolina from Kindertown here with the Kids App Review for TimeToPlayMag.com. This is Little Digits, a playful app that uses all ten fingers for learning about numbers and counting. The play is built around the iPad's unique touch-responsive technology. Little Digits responds to how many fingers a child places on the screen. There are two activity areas in Little Digits, one for your young child just learning about numbers, and a second space for kids who are slightly older working on basic addition and subtraction. For young children, start with the area labeled as 1, 2, 3. Put a finger on the screen and a cartoon character in the shape of the number 1 appears. Put 10 fingers on the screen and a different cartoon character in the shape of a number 10 appears. Playing together with your child, you put two fingers and your child puts two fingers on the screen and you'll see a cartoon number four character pop up. Try out some advanced number play with a tap on the addition or subtraction sign. As you probably suspected, these areas have kids working on combining and taking away fingers to solve given math problems. You can solve each problem by counting with your fingers right on the screen or figure it out off the app and press down your fingers when you're ready. Don't get it right? The app shares an error noise but leaves kids to try again. Make sure when you are back on the home screen for little digits to check out the option to record your own voice saying the name of each number and math symbol. Also, because you are using Four. multiple fingers on the screen, it's important that you go into your settings and turn off multitasking gestures, which allows you to swipe and move between apps when you have multiple fingers on the screen. You'll find little digits available to download for the iPad on the iTunes App Store. We recommend this app for ages 3 to 7. To learn more about little digits, download the free Kindertown app or head over to timetoplaymag.com, your number one source for all things play.